In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on October 15, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Minnesota vs. Illinois The Illinois Fighting Alini play host to the Minnesota Golden Gophers in a Big Ten showdown on Saturday from Memorial Stadium. The Golden Gophers lost their last time out but are hoping that coming off of a bye week, they can put that defeat behind them as they hit the road. For the Alini, they've won four in a row and there might not be a hotter team in the division than the home team right now. Last season, Illinois was able to come away with the win on the road but with only three wins in the last ten meetings. They are looking to take control in this series on Saturday. Minnesota is 31 1 to 15 to 5 against the spread in their last 51 road games and 15 to 5 to 1 against the spread in their last 21 games overall while the under is 4 to 1 in their last 5 games against a team with a winning record Illinois is 7 to 1 to 1 against the spread in their last 9 games against a team with a winning record and 7 to 2 against the spread in their last 9 games overall while the under is 5 to 0 in their last 5 games following and against the spread loss the Illinois Fighting Alini will host the Minnesota Golden Gophers this Saturday in Champaign Illinois enters this game ranked for the first time since 2011 after consecutive victories over Wisconsin and Iowa but playing those teams back to back doesn't come without a price. While neither of those programs are at their peak currently, they are both still physically imposing teams, and Illinois has left those games with some bangs and bruises. Included among those banged up is starting quarterback Tommy DeVito who is dealing with a high ankle sprain and could possibly miss this game. Even if DeVito was to play, his mobility would surely be limited, and that has been a big part of their Reds zone offense this season. DeVito isn't an elite quarterback by any measure, but there is a significant drop-off between him and the backup in this spot. Minnesota is on the other end of the spectrum. Their bye week couldn't have come at a better time for the program after a loss to Purdue ended whatever hopes they had of a perfect season. Their star running back, Mo Ibram, is the focal point of the offense and was held out of that loss due to injury. After an extra week to heal up, he is expected back in this matchup which is crucial for an offense that was only capable of producing 10 points in their game without him. Illinois has a stiff run defense that ranks third best according to PFF and is tied for fourth in the nation with Alabama allowing only 2.4 yards per carry. While I don't expect Minnesota to run wild against this defense, it is massive having their star player back, and quarterback Tanner Morgan is a capable passer when able to play out of the play action and in neutral passing downs. Outside of Chase Brown, who is a truly elite college running back, the Alini offense is unimpressive with a very basic passing scheme and a lack of elite talent on the outside. Minnesota has a solid defense in their own right with an elite secondary and they should be able to load the box and force Illinois to pass the ball more than they would like. I like this matchup for the Gophers' defense and expect them to win the battle for field position which is crucial in a game with a total this low. Bookmakers were not fooled by Illinois being ranked as Minnesota opened as five and a half point favorites. So the Minnesota Golden Gophers to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Golden Gophers struggled to run the ball last time out and an emphasis on that in this one seems likely to drive down the big play threats for Tanner Morgan and company. These two teams combined to allow only 17 points per game and are the top two scoring defenses in the country, only leading to this one being tight on the scoring opportunities. Having Arter Sikowski as the potential starting quarterback will limit the amount of points that Illinois can score as a whole. Both programs love to run the football and drain the clock as Minnesota is averaging 47 rushing attempts per game while Illinois has 43.8 rushing attempts per game heading into this matchup. Additionally, the under is 4-1 to for Minnesota in their last five games against a team with a winning record, while the under has it in four of the previous five games against one another. The two best defensive teams in the sport are not going to be able to score many points against one another. These are two of the best defensive programs in the entire sport so this will be a great sign for the defenses to keep the game low scoring. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Iowa State versus Texas. The Iowa State Hawkeyes will be heading to DKR Texas Memorial Stadium in Austin, Texas on Saturday afternoon in a Big 12 conference game to take on the 22nd ranked Texas Longhorns in this game. This Texas team is getting back to what we expected with their roster and are trying to climb the AP poll so it will be an interesting game to track. The Cyclones are 1-4 against the spread in their last five road games and 19-6-2 against the spread in their last 27 games in October. The Longhorns are 5-0 against the spread in their last five home games and 6-1 against the spread in their last seven games overall. The under is 5-2 in Cyclones' last seven games overall. The under is 9-3 in Longhorns' last 12 games overall. The favorite is 5-1 against the spread in their last six meetings. The Iowa State program has struggled inside of the conference as they are 0-3 this season against Big 12 opponents and that will be a tough thing to overcome as the Hawkeyes are getting dominated in the conference. The Hawkeyes are averaging 15 points in their last three games while the Longhorns are scoring 43 and a half points in their previous two games. There is a reason why Iowa State is unranked and Texas is ranked since they are the better team. Bijan Robinson has been able to dominate on the ground and break tackles as his 10 rushing touchdowns is third in the country thus far. This Texas Longhorns team is getting healthy as Quinn Ewers returns in a big way from his clavicle injury suffered against the Alabama Crimson Tide less than one month before his return and he should be able to dominate this Iowa State defense. The Iowa State Cyclones look like a team that's run out of gas, mainly offensively, where they've combined for 44 points in their last three games. Iowa State is now 116th in run offense and 103rd in scoring offense. The Texas Longhorns got their quarterback back and they're one of the more balanced teams in the country overall. I'm afraid the Cyclones don't have the horses offensive to hang in this game on the road. So the Texas Longhorns to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. This is an interesting total given that this is the Big 12 and Texas is the 15th highest scoring team in the country. To go over, the pressure is on Iowa State's offense to produce 10 or more points. Prior to the shutout against Oklahoma, playing mostly Wildcat sets with their backup quarterback, Texas allowed 21 points per game. I'm confident that 17 points from the Cyclones will guarantee an over outcome in this game as Texas offense is humming with Ewers back under center. Look for the Longhorn to push close to 40 points again and this game to sail past the total as they rack up yardage on the ground and through the air. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Auburn vs. Ole Miss The 3-3 Auburn Tigers hit the road on Saturday as they travel to Mississippi to take on the Ole Miss Rebels in a battle of traditional Southeastern Conference schools. The Tigers have lost two straight games following a 42-10 thumping at the hands of Georgia last Saturday. The Rebels, 6-0, remained undefeated with a 52-28 road win at Vanderbilt. Auburn is 1-6 against the spread in their last seven games overall and 1-6 against the spread in their last seven games against a team with a winning record while the under is 5-1 in their last six games following and against the spread loss. Ole Miss is 1-5 against the spread in their last six home games and 5-2 against the spread in their last seven games following a win by 20-plus points while the under is 7-1 in their last eight conference games. Auburn was dominated last weekend by a very good Georgia team, while Ole Miss was able to handle Vanderbilt to stay undefeated. Auburn has not played well this season and will have their hands full on the road here. Having watched Auburn in what feels like Brian Harson's last days, they don't have a plan, any drive, or a clue about how to handle Kiffin and Dart. Naturally, Ole Miss is favored for their offense, but the defense will show this week as the Tigers and Robbie Ashford will struggle against Ole Miss 52nd ranked pass defense. Mississippi also will rely on their 7th ranked rush offense that averages 242 YPG to beat up Auburn's 93rd ranked rush defense. I get the case to be made for an underdog in a lot of spots, but this is not one of those spots. Auburn kept it close against LSU, but then regressed to the Auburn we know and again Georgia showed their true colors as this is an Auburn team that's just not very good with even worse quarterback play at the top of the depth chart. Ole Miss is a team I had doubts about when the season started as I didn't love Jackson Dart running the offense, but he's proven me wrong and the defense has been a lot better for Ole Miss than I thought it would be. Mississippi is playing very good football right now and I don't see the Auburn offense being good enough to keep up. I believe that this is a beatdown dished out by Ole Miss, so the Mississippi Rebels to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick.
While Ole Miss will not have any issues putting up points against Auburn's 62nd ranked defense, the Tigers will have trouble putting up points. Auburn is 5-1 to one to the under in their last six games following and against the spread loss. The Rebels are 8-0 to zero to the under in their last eight games following and against the spread win. The under is Lane Kiffin's bread and butter. Since Kiffin arrived in Oxford in 2020, the under is 18-11-0. to, 11 to zero. The shutdown of Auburn's offense is expected against a stiff Ole Miss defense and will be sparked by the Rebels' ability to hold teams to 334.2 YPG. Auburn has only scored 25 plus points once this season, and that was against Mercer. Auburn has only scored 16 PPG against FBS opponents, and the Ole Miss defense has only allowed 14.5 points per game. This one will be a runaway win for Ole Miss, but they will be doing the majority of the scoring in this one-sided contest. The under is trend heavy in this matchup of offensive mismatches, and the under hits because Auburn won't be able to move the ball much. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.